This is how warriors used to dress when they are about going um, for a war to protect their communities. This is how we, we wear it. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is a war helmet. Yeah. Uh, so and the secret is this. Um, when you put this on and you are in the woods, um, an enemy seeing you from afar might mistake you for an antelope or a deer. So that is the story behind this. Now, you crop. wear this right here. You wear animal skins. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beautiful. So I am being dressed like a warrior, yeah. getting ready for... Um, uh, getting ready for mm -hmm. a war. Isn't this quite interesting? Uh huh. Yeah, that that's why I say you should come. For you. come on, bring your hand outside. Okay. You too, come. <coughs> so I have just um, I've been dressed. These ladies right here too are getting dressed. So we are about to um, show you how the ancient people would dress when they are getting ready for a war to defend their community this is the bow and arrow so this is how um it is being done so let's say i see a target over there an enemy from that distance what i would normally do is put it this way and then i pull this two shoot at the enemy. The wives of the warriors would be behind them and this is how they would dress as well. Yeah. And my comrade warriors would dress this way yeah. as well. Yeah. And you would have an entertainer trying to boost our morale so as to get into the war and emerge victoriously. So let's demonstrate yeah. to you how they would have... Okay. <laughs> Wow, hello wonderful viewers, I hope you enjoyed it. I am coming to you from Ghana, West Africa, the land of my birth. You need to come to Ghana in the Upper East region. This is where culture is rich to its fullest. Um, I have more coming your way, stay tuned. My name is Big Vision.